one a day. Dick Weber Open is brought to you by Ebonite. Bowl to win. By Turbo. Turbo bowling accessories. Put some extra drive into your game. By one a day. Men's 50 plus advantage. The multivitamin with more of what matters. And by Barbasol. Enjoy the rush, America. New Barbasol Pacific Rush Shaving Cream. Welcome back to ESPN's live coverage of the one today Dick Weber Open. Bill O'Neill winning match one, losing match two, setting up match three to Hall of Famers Pete Weber versus Walter Ray Williams Jr. Earlier this week on Jay Leno, they had some clips of Kelly Kulik winning the TOC last week and uh, cracking. Uh, look at all the stars. Look at all the Hollywood stars that are attending PBA events this year as he cut to shots of the Golden Globe. So we've got Hollywood stars. DiCaprio in the house on Grammy night here in L.A. Bill Simmons even got an invite and we snuck him in. Tom Hanks. Very clean cut Tom Hanks. These are all Bill's friends. <laughs> Name he brought him. And Iron Man. All right. Time now for Pete Weber versus Walter Ray Williams Jr. Pete Weber will start okay. us off. And we talked with Pete yesterday, Randy, and I, I made the comment, you got a smile on your face today. You know, that's not always the case with Pete, a very nice guy, but he seemed particularly warm and inviting yesterday. And one of the reasons, he's about to be a grandpa again, his first grandson on the way any day now, Kyson, back in St. Louis. Pete and his wife will fly home Tuesday, and hopefully his daughter Nikki can hold her water till then. Oh boy. Uh oh. You know, and, and this is the tough part. Pete can't let any of this affect his performance. He's just got to block it out. I mean, step off, go back through your routine, and just get up and act like it didn't happen. And, and Bill, it, this is going to be a very interesting match for, for the folks to watch. You're going to see two completely different angles being played by the players. Pete's going to play the deep inside line. I look for Walter, Walter Ray to play much straighter from the right side of the lane. Is this the equivalent of LeBron Kobe, basically? Yeah, it is. Very much so. Now, time for the intro for Pete Weber's opponent. The PBA Tour's all-time title holder. He owns seven major victories and is a six-time player of the year. PBA Hall of Famer from Ocala, Florida. Please welcome Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Age only a number to this guy. 50 years old, yet in pursuit today of tour title number 47. I like the way he throws it. See, that's the, that's the high hard one. He's going to play straight from out. And when he can do that, that's when he's at his best, and that's when he's the toughest to beat. I think when your name is Walter Ray Williams Jr., you have to become a professional bowler. I think that's a rule. It's preordained. Yeah. He's also a world champion horseshoe player. Is that true? See the horseshoes on his jersey right there. Yeah. One of the best ever. I would have researched that, but you told me to do no research for this. My bad. Back-to-back -back jacks for WRWJ to open up this match with Pete Weber. And you know, a lot of times when the lanes get very difficult, the best recipe is straighter is greater. And that's exactly Just like that. Walter Ray's mantra. I mean, that's what he does. He does that the best. Now, he is versatile. He can play all over the lane. He can play the inside angle. He can play first arrow and everything in between. But he likes it best when he can stay right of the head pin and fire it at the 1-3. Weber, bottom of the second, down 10 early to Walter Ray. Goes Brooklyn, but gets all 10 to drop. Well, you can see just how sensitive the middle part of the lane is. I like it. They're raising the stakes on each other. Oh, Pete Weber moves right on that right lane, trying to take a page out of Walter Ray's book, but gets it left to target. Gets a nice break going Brooklyn. At what point do we start talking about how Walter Ray has owned Pete on television the last 10 outings? Pretty soon. Okay. What's, the, what's the record? Two well, and eight. Yeah, it's two and eight. Pete. That's not good. Yeah. 
And that's, tur that's taking a really good break and turning it into a double right there. You know what they call that? A, a combined hand bone. Nice. Right? Well played. You're Thank getting, you. You're getting in the mood for the Winter Olympics with all those combined events. There you go. The head-to-head -head comparison of Walter Ray Williams Jr. versus Pete Weber. Walter Ray with an 8-2 advantage in 10 TV finals. But Walter Ray saying, you know, if it was 100 times, it'd probably be like 50-50. He's just saying. <laughs> Walter Ray on a mission. He's like, opening like three watching, watching a pitcher throw 99, just humming it. Yeah, he can bring it. And again, he's 50 years old. I'm 50. <laughs> It's only his 170th telecast. And at 50 years of age, I mean, the guy's just ageless. It's amazing what he does. He's already won a tournament this season. And to just continue to do what he does out here is truly amazing. You ask any player out here, and, and it, he's just a freak of nature. Top five this season in earnings average and points. Just one title this year, like Randy mentioned, that coming in the Motor City Open where he beat Chris Barnes back in September. Uh -oh. Every time I cut to a different scene, it shows up on those, cam those video monitors, so just, I'll try to pay attention. Boy, when you can get into his head, <laughs> yeah, we've done it. There are some video monitors above the lanes that show the action to the house, and that's actually the first time I've seen anybody comment on it. You know what's funny is I was wondering if that was a problem. Oh. Yeah. Yes. You know, a lot of success for Walter Ray in this building as he just throws a four-bagger. Yeah. You for know, Walter he, Ray, it's a four-bagger. Okay. He actually pulled his first regional event in this center back in, like, 1980. Yeah, both these guys have good vibes in this house. The winner to take on Michael Fagan in our title match. We'll see who survives to roll on when we return to Fountain Valley.